Okay, so this is now um, this is this is a little segment that we really don't have a full name for, so we're gonna call it Vine DOS or Weird MS DOS. And I came across a list of some really weird MS DOS games, some old ones, and Vincesity helped me get this together and Jackal. And what we have here is a collection of some really bad MS-DOS, or weird MS-DOS, a couple good ones, but also a couple ports of very famous games. So, strap in, and let's see what we have here. Aro and Elmi from 1996. So I believe this is a German video game. Pain, 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 pain. Okay, I don't know what any of this is saying. Um... Uh, Aro and Elmi struggle in the bacteria band back bacteria uh hang on let me let me just lower this a little bit fighting against bacteria gang that first i think that first option was start i don't read german but oh Jesus. Well, it's a hell of a start. Um, oh god. Oh god, really? The <laughs> Aside from the impracticality of having an attack that arcs like that, does it ha- <laughs> Maybe the- maybe toothpaste wasn't the best attack move. I get what they're doing here, though. It's supposed to be like, um, you know, one of those games that are... Chat, I want to brush my teeth now with some minty, fresh tooth toothpaste. Crown toothpaste. What am I collecting? Are those teeth? Or is it like... That looks like plaque. Or tatar. Also, my toothpaste tube looks high as fuck. Oh, I'm out of, uh, nut, um... I'm out of toothpaste. How do you get that? I don't know how to get that, chat. So what now? I mean, I, I can't... I can't kill any enemies. I don't have any toothpaste. I don't... Maybe I could get the mouthwash power up? Like, is there mouthwash? Is there floss? I could see it, like, it would be cool. Floss would be like a whip attack. Mouthwash would be like, um... Like Mario Sunshine. Like, you get, like, flood. A toothbrush could be a melee attack. There's so much potential that probably will never be realized. Do hosts. Um... You have 90%. You hast Mitch. You hast Mitch gefucked. I don't know what those last words are in that song, so I just made them up. Oh, I was, um, refilled. Ugh. I don't know if I like these levels. Like, this is like tryptophobia activation. Like, gums don't look like this, I'm sorry. Um, whatever the hell is going on with this person, they've clearly neglected their gums way too long.
But, like, even taking aside, like, the bubbles, the shape of the level, it's just really abnormal and awful, and I hate it. Super Metroid tile set. <laughs> We're in the best. Zeebs. Zeebies. <laughs> Zeebies. I know, I see the teeth in the background, so that means we're just, like, in the mouth, I guess. Oh, there's a, a room clear move. I just wasted it. Rent and Stimpy dental horror. Still to this day, one of the most terrifying things. That and Denethor eating the tomato are still two of the most terrifying, mundane things that I've ever seen in my life. I mean, as a game, it kind of falls short of anything other than the most basic, you know, jump and squirt. You don't really get a whole lot else. There's a couple secrets. I mean, aside from the bizarre setting and the um, gum body horror and me destroying green peppers, I'm not really sure if this is... Um, I mean, it was 1996. But we had Yoshi's Island a couple years before this. Yoshi's Island... ...is legit. But, you know, this isn't exactly Nintendo developing this game. Uh, this- this is... Rammstein developed this. This music is perfectly German. For its time. Like, it's so ex exactly what I would want from a game like this, from Germany. Run, Lola, run. Ugh. I just want to see one more level, maybe. All right, well, I can say I've done two levels. Uh, we missed collectibles. And it's back to this tile set, which is just more strange, diseased gums. This time, luckily, the tryptophobia aspect is kind of not present, so thank God for that. It's just scummy gums. Yeah, not much going on here. I mean, you've seen it all, I, I would assume. The only thing that would be cool is if it was like a big plaque boss. But uh, we're not going to stick around here long enough to find out, so... Well, there you go. Bubble Blob 2. Developer, it says here, you know what? I'll show you what it says in the developer section. Bubble Blob 2. Action puzzle, some German people, I don't know, dude. Okay. Turns out all the weird ones that we have left are German. <laughs> I'm gonna need, like, a co-streamer that speaks German to translate. Wait, was that Star Wars almost? Hang on a second. I, it said Bunger made this game. Hang on. Hang on. I want to start that again from the beginning. I want to hear the bootleg Star Wars. It's Bunginer. I 
feel like I've heard this bootleg of Star Wars music before. It just loops. I mean, it would have been nice to hear more of the music, but you get the idea. Uh, graphic? Something about graphic? Nus spiel? Spiel? Hilfe? Witter spielen? Top 10. <laughs> okay, you play this game by pressing left shift and right shift. DM, DMCA, DMCA2. Well, why did it break? Very confused. It's it's public domain. Sure, <laughs> I mean, you never know. Someone probably, someone probably has it. So if you're the right color ball, you can destroy the blocks of of the same color. But you also have to avoid the plus and minus, because that'll get you killed. This game is really... oof-like. What's the opposite of fun? Because it's that. Enough? Well, <laughs> I've had enough of this. Yay, we watch the ball go up, we watch the ball go down, we watch the ball go up, we watch the ball go down. It's like New Year's Eve. music. <laughs> it's so disparate from the game and from, like, the other music. I guess they thought that they had the next big thing on their hands. Maybe, like, they thought they had Pong 2? I can only imagine. Wow. I was, um... Yeah, my, my ball was destroyed. Great. Star Wars clown music. Ah! Read top left. It says, Oh, wow! Such a blatant Star Wars rip, I love it. I... I lost. I wanna check Witterspielen. Never mind, what about Hilfe? Oh, this is a level creator. It's a tutorial? Oh, oh Hilfe Hilf means help. I've, I've doubled my German vocabulary tonight. Uh, the name of this game is Burps. <laughs> the Burps. I guess apologies in advance. Got yeah, Burps. Scoot the burps. So, 1993 game.
music is pretty good for, you know, for what it is. Activate a character. Um, I'm gonna go for Walter. Yeah, I knew. Uh huh. Oh, does this game have a chickenometer? Amazing. So is this um like saber wolf or is it gauntlet? How do I how do I shoot? How do I shoot? No, <laughs> is that a Metroid? Usually it's Z, X, or Shift or Control. Nope. Wish to pick up the key, please? Doesn't that? Maybe I got it. I saw uh, a Wario face briefly. That looks like a Metroid. Oh, there, there's the Wario face at the bottom right. chat i think i i have like a little stuffiness tonight because i went and found my old games and some old magazines including some really old like pokemon inserts from nintendo power and um let's just say there was dust on all of this shit snake <laughs> snake Wait a minute, McDonald's? Why is there just randomly McDonald's fries in this dungeon crawler? Definitely not brought to you by McDonald's. Well, this is a wretched experience. And burps aside. And the chickenometer just goes down for like what for no reason? Is that a condom? It's like a it's fucking amazing gameplay here. As far as I can tell, there's only one button. And it's just shoot star. What did McMillan do to this game? McMillan borrowed heavily from this particular game, The Burps, to make The Binding of Isaac. And only this game. Please, please just open the door. I guess I'm just stuck down here while Wario stares at me indefinitely. Ten percent. Wow, it's the same attack. I sure do love playing these old shitty games. <laughs> I really enjoy- oh, McDonald's again, great. Let's see, maybe Raymond... Maybe Raymond will be different. Nope. Same character. What did it say? It said they have Teeth 2, Teeth None, and Teeth 67? 
cool noise. That's a really nice noise. All right, chat. This one you may recognize. Sadly, it's not in a form that you'll particularly care for. Get ready for it, chat. Get ready for it. Hang on. We're almost there. Ready. Go. <laughs> I can't even play the music. This is real. This is a real port. It's a 1990 port. I guess we'll do a keyboard, considering I don't have a joystick. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How do I attack? It's it's space to attack, but how do I jump? Alt, shift, control. It's enter. Wow, enter. That's the whip sound. The whip just interrupts the music. This is also a very dubious Simon Belmont. I'm not sure it really is Simon Belmont. This could be a vampire. His skin is totally gray. This is what happens when Simon Belmont dies. He goes to play Castlevania in the Netherworld as a zombie. Uh, what my favorite feature of this game, aside from it running at five frames a second, give or take a frame, my favorite feature is that sometimes I press the attack button and nothing happens. Someone just said in chat, Simon Belmont, but they spelled it B-E-L-M-O-N apostrophe T. And I really respect that. I'm going to try to do one level of this chat. It's a nightmare, but I'm going to try it. The true nightmare was never the horrors of Dracula's castle. It was the PC port. to maneuver it and, like, get out of the way of, like, anything that happens. Oh, what a horrible whip noise that is. Whip item. do 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 This game also comes free with a phone call. They did whatever they could to sell these games back in the day. At least the, they got the wall meat. Wonder if you could damage boost over that. I, here's what I will say: the backgrounds look decent. They're the the most cast. Oh, those are some crusty mermen. Um, the, they're the most Castlevania aspect of this. Because God knows it's not the music. So they're just giving hearts away. Why not just play the song instead of this? Honestly, the song isn't that much better. But the levels are here. 
That's the only thing I feel like they got pretty accurate. It's, um... Uh... An attempt was made, is, is the best I can give this. Playing it with- if I played this with, like, an NES controller... Tough fight. Tough fight. If I played this with an NES controller, maybe it would be more tolerable. But the frame rates are just too goddamn low. Yeah, we need to see what Stage 2's music sounds like. Oh. What was that? Walk sound effects? So, this is just a shame. I feel like they should have gotten some tips from Commander Keen on how to do frame rates on, you know, in MS-DOS. Um... But, yeah, this, this is very unfortunate. This is before Commander Keen? Okay, fair enough then. I mean... Again, the backgrounds look good. Simon Belmont has no reason to be gray. But I applaud the effort because... Um, oh. It's almost playable, chat. It almost feels like Castlevania. Again, if you sped up the frame rates times two and you gave me an NES controller, I could play through this whole game, perhaps. It feels like Castlevania, somewhat. It sounds like utter dog shit. Um, and it looks like I'm playing as Bicentennial Man. But other than that, it's- it's an attempt was made- I can't just hate this. As much as I want to just shit on this outright and just, like, because the, the music is grating and- and it looks terrible. Um, I can't. I- I have to applaud the effort. Maybe the technology just wasn't there in 1990. Maybe they didn't know how to do this. But it's- it's really, um... You know, it's proof that the NES was designed for the games it was designed for. And, um, PC might have been more powerful at the time in other ways, but not- not for shit like this. Again, Commander Keen, if I'm not mistaken, um, Romero figured out how to do screen refresh rate. A little bit more, um, better. <laughs> a little bit more, uh, accurately uh, to save resources, so... I could be speaking- it was Carmack. Uh, sorry, it wasn't Romero. Romero's the level designer. I always get Car Carmack and Romero confused. But, um, the point is, this is a good effort for its time, and the technology def definitely got better, but it, it feels like ass. And not the good kind. Boy, my ears are just so happy to, to hear nothing right now. General Driptud. Family Home Entertainment, we present the future. Right, you say that and then you use um, Comic Sans. General Driptud. Han må være blevet stålet eller kidnappet. Det er en opgave for en rigtig general og alle hans venner. Kom med og hjælp mig med at finde Johanna. What? Who is that? Was that Baron Munchausen's brother? My favorite part is trying to figure out which buttons do what. 
So I can run. I don't know how to jump. Um, also, some of this is heavily inspired by Super Mario World. It's right alt. Boy, we just really didn't have a standardized control system at that time. Was that the noise that the tricorders make from Star Trek? It, they, <laughs> it is. It, it's real close if it's not. More collectibles than you could ever imagine. I don't know if I have an attack. Page down? No, none of those buttons work. I think I've pressed every button on my keyboard and there's no attack button as far as I can tell, but he's a general and there are sword icons in the top right, so I'm assuming that the general would have a weapon, a sword maybe, but, uh, nope. Come, if we were up, okay, after you, Hannah. Okay, Vincesity has, has said that there are no attacks in this game. I have to say, I do love that they dressed someone up in a fucking clown getup. Big fan. This game may be horse shit. But I love that they actually got a human being to dress up like Baron Munchausen and filmed him in front of a green screen. Yeah, I wonder if we have any, um, any German audience members that can tell us who this general is. Maybe he was a kid's show host in the early 90s? I don't know. Aha, uh Johanna Ermoski in Scotland. Danish, sorry, not German. I know, sorry, all the other games were German, except Castlevania, just about, so... My brain instantly just associated German, even if it was clearly not German language. But yeah, very good. Danish kids show, apparently. So if this game, like, was bundled with cereal, that would be cool. I could understand it then. Wow. This never ends. Someone in chat said, you need to go down in case you were wondering. Oh, thanks. I was about to bust out the player's guide. Talk to me, costume. Costume man, please. Oh, oh, wait, no, do I have to do the whole level again? With no collectibles? That is awful. I want to see what happens next, chat. What if the general does something interesting? Like the Command and Conquer cutscenes. Some of these things feel pretty fucking difficult to avoid. Still going.
If I get hit one more time, I die. And then we will move to the next game. <laughs> this is, like, actually legitimately kind of tough. Camel. You have a right to scrap or dirty, so now comes the bonus ban with extra many points. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> Welcome to the bonus level. Man, music would really help this game out. You know, just just a little bit of so jeg landede slet ikke i skoven. Hjælp mig lige med at finde den skov, hvor Johanna hun er. It's a meatworm. Yeah, we've we've seen enough of that. Um nope, nope. Okay. Um Harold Hartend. Fight of the clean teeth. Why is there so much clean teeth propaganda? Why is Big Dentist trying to get me to buy toothpaste and toothbrush? Oh, it's Colgate. <laughs> this does sound a lot like, um... Sonic music. Start one spiller. Er du klar spiller one? I can't believe how similar this is to the other game. Holy shit! Is this like just a coincidence? The screen scroll is atrocious. Imagine testing your game and thinking that putting the camera so that you can only see like 15% of what's in front of you is a good idea. Imagine that. And we are having the fun? Is this the fun? I'm out of toothpaste. <laughs> nice animation. Uh, yeah, I know there's a mini-map. Though I, I can't really figure out... I guess the red ones I have to go for? Those are the really shitty ones. Oh shit, you can accidentally jump off the level! Why- why did I just get killed? Why? Why? I had health? I was going to complain about the lack of music, but then I remembered the Castlevania music. And I think it's just fine that there's no music here. I just feel bad if, like, this was one of the few games that you had. I'll be honest, this, I don't really feel like brushing my teeth. If this is what it's like, it's not fun at all.
I'm very suspicious because now I think most of these games are trying to get me to brush my teeth and I'm wondering like what is the secret message here? What are you saying? I brush my teeth every day. Sometimes twice a day, but mostly I floss once a day, brush twice. Um I I I swear. Helios Heli Helios Helios from Albino Frog Software. You're supposed to brush every 10 minutes? What? Sleeper dentist cell in chat. Okay, so we've got some art. This is the art of Vanga. How to produce a game in eight days. First off, I know you won't believe my story. That's all right. You don't have to believe it. I know what happened, and that's good enough for me. Helios is fun, whether or not you believe how it came to be. I'm not the sort of person who likes UFO stories, and I used to scoff at them. Whitley Strieber, now there's a nutcase, I think to myself. I used to watch Project Blue Book when I was a kid, but that was just TV. I know who Whitley Strieber is, by the way. I watched Star Trek 2. <laughs> so on May 5th, 1993, UFOs were the farthest thing from my mind. Okay, I gotta read this. I'm sitting up for this one. But of course, when you're least expecting it, when your life gets turned upside down, or wham, your life gets turned upside down. I usually get to bed around 3 in the morning. That night was a little stormy, unusual for Florida in May, especially in 93. Uh, a bit of lightning kicked off now and then, steady hiss of the rain, gurgle of the gutters, occasional car going past, slinging yellowed headlight beams through my... Okay, we get it. Closed my eyes when a dull hum started up, very faint, far away. We live in a very small airport, so the throaty growl... Where's the throaty growl? How much of this is there? Okay, we're not reading all this, never mind. I'm just gonna go through it very quickly. Throaty growl, uh, the drone of blimps, ha police helicopter, uh, the, the dog, nothing there, fellas. No dogs, no escaped convicts. The light, it was green, most brilliant green I'd ever seen. No headlight was ever that color. The hum gradually gotten louder, um, changed the pitch, it was modulating. Uh, it was near my windows, bright green light, otherworldly hum. What would you do? I ran like a man possessed, nearly killing myself, tripping over a stack of phone books. No way was I going to be trapped in this house with who knows what weirdness, be it a spaceman, the CIA, or maybe the Illuminati. Flung the door open. Um, there's a bright shaft of greenish light, swathed in mist. Uh, was a perfect copy of myself with its hand outstretched as if to open the door to get out. In the movies, the hero would now do the Groucho Marx routine and see if the image moved the same way he did. Dreeb, I need you to go to Earth with your Claude. He'd make friends, learn a new alien language. Uh, no mirror image, garbage cans were back where they belonged. Uh, wandering around the front yard in the wee hours of the morning. Didn't see anything strange. There was nothing. Um, I, I can't, I can't be dealing with this. What does this have to do with the, this is a UFO store. What? Okay. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, and now here's the game. Do you get it? But wasn't, wasn't that a cool story to read before playing this game where you guide a ball? It's, it's irritating stick, but even more irritating. Someone needs to add that story to AI Dungeon, so we'll have it for the future. Listen, I totally believe this was made in eight days. Which, by the way, is still pretty impressive, considering some of the Game Jam games we see now. 
the fact that this was made in eight days back in the day by someone who was abducted by alien clones. Pretty impressive. You would think someone like that would have a lot more going on on their mind than to be worrying about video games, but, you know. The story of Helios is legit kind of famous online, aka Aliens left this on his computer. Vinny, the aliens made it. Excuse the fuck me! No one online has ever beat this game. You can be the first. I don't want to read more of that stuff, though. It was just breaking my brain. Famous game surprised you didn't know? I had no idea. Um... Yeah, I don't want to spend very much time. You'd think aliens would have better graphics. Like, geez, what are they running? They're running like Pentium. Ross made a game dungeon video on this? Okay, I, I definitely need to see that. I'm very curious about this now. But, uh, yeah, aliens made this. Okay, that's cool. Well, we're, we're witnessing, chat, the first evidence of extraterrestrial contact that we have tangibly. And I'm now... I'm now playing it. So... Ross Scott, not Rubber Ross. Oh. Different Ross. <laughs> okay. I sometimes forget that there are more than one name per human. That's like when people are like, Vinny, did I play against you in the Smash Brothers match? And uh, it, it's just like... It's it's just a dude whose sma like Nintendo Switch name is like Vinny Boy. That was the most recent one. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm sorry, that wasn't me. I don't have I don't go by Vinny Boy. Jenny, Jenny Boy, Jenny. Yo, this game... The aliens are fucking terrible game designers. They are so bad at this. I wouldn't want to spend another five minutes on this anyway. This is really bad. Um, um, these aliens... are just... the worst at making video games. Sure, they've invented interstellar travel. They can come to Earth from across the galaxy. Maybe even a different dimension. They can come from the Alpha Centauri, Zeta Reticuli, the Belt of Orion. Baby, this watch was up the alien's ass for five long years! But truthfully, they suck at making video games. Sure, they've got inverse gravity inductors. Sure, that they've got Element 115... And they can throw that in the Lazar craft. I get it. But we have Metroid. Hey, dumb jet human. Fascinating. I'm going to have to look that up. Helios. That's interesting. I, I am absolutely blown away by the backstory to that game. And, and that is how... You, chat, that's how you do it. That's how you have people remember and talk about your urban legend game. You just make up a ridiculous story. Why don't we start something? Let's say the Boogerman, I don't know, abducted one of us, right? In the middle of the night, forced us to learn C+. What, what do we make games in these days? C+, yeah. And uh, Visual Basic. And we'll just make a game together. And we'll release it and say it was made by the Booger Man. I don't know. Years from now, the Skunjili Man will play the game and it will be famous. This one's called Imp Arena.
Well, this started out amazing. Uh, is that the sound of his fingers? What do I press? Whoa. Por favor, seleccionare la modalità di gioco. Un giocatore due giocatori so that means please select the number of players one player or two player is that italian Oh, it's the mouse. <laughs> I just didn't exp What is this hot garbage? Oh. This is amazing. <laughs> I think it's running too fast. It says 100 cycles. Someone said this feels more like an alien game than Helios. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you threw that story on this game, I would have believed it. It's running too fast. You know what? I like it better this way. Straight to the point. Good cycle, citizen. You know what this needs? This needs music. I know exactly what kind of music. Bear with me a second. I wonder if anyone will know. Some Mario Party music. Uh, paint, not party, sorry. I, um, the result. How many, please. Um, and please name. Result, result, how many, name, please. Digital name? Write your name? Well, write in Italian is scrivare. Please type your name. Type your name. Scrivare. <laughs> That's my name. Quando is, is bored? What is quando? I thought quando was how many. What is quale? Chat, I don't remember Italian from high school. I really don't. Nome, punti, punti, please. Anime, well, anime, code and data.
Well, that was interesting. Island. A game of survival. Canada Employment and Immigration, 1991. Huh? Do you want instructions? Yes. You've been stranded on a small desert island. No one knows where you are. If you're able to survive, you will have to use... Oh, if you are to survive, you have to use all your skills to find food and water. In your spare time, you can collect planks to build a raft. Your raft will be completed when you have collected 10 planks. You also will need to rest occasionally. Sending messages will give you a chance of being rescued by passing ships. You win if you complete your raft and sail away, or if you are rescued. You can lose if you die in any of the un painful and unpleasant ways that have been devised. Don't waste time. The hurricane season is fast approaching. What do uh, we, we have water? Uh, we, we don't have enough planks. Let's gather planks. You have zero planks. There are eight sharks in the sea. Do you dare swim out for the plank? Yeah. You made a fine meal for a hungry shark. Discretion is the better part of valor. You survived alone for one day. Let's send a message. Type the number of the message. Oh, oh. Well, nice illusion of choice there. Cool, cool graphics. Message is on, on its way. Maybe someone will find it. Um, okay, so uh, it looks like we should look for food. Today you've chosen to hunt for food. Luckily the sea is full of fish. Are you smart enough to catch them? You will catch a brief glimpse of a fish swimming in the sea. If Before it disappears, cast your line by typing number from 1 to 9. Be quick or it will get away. This is not Animal Crossing fishes. Fishing. For fishes. We should look, uh, get water. You have three buckets to fill. You can't find water on sunny day. Great. You can only do one thing per day. Fuck off. Four sharks. Let's go. Let's do it. I got the plank. You just have to guess where the fish is and press the number closest to where you think the fish is. This game was lost media and was dug up in 2017. Mental. What do you think you are, a camel? You ran out of water. Your parched bones will lie forever on the island. You survived alone for six days. What's good deserted island music to play, chat? Oh, I know. FF6. Um, what is the... Oh, well, never mind. This works. 42 liters of water. Here we go. I'm gonna uh, gather a plank. Three sharks. We're gonna do it. Just total luck. Grandpa Sid. We need to get the fish for Grandpa Sid. We're gonna send a message. SOS. Sending out an SOS. SOS. 
you are quite tired. Let's rest. Lie down and snooze. You will dream of strange and wonderful things. If your dreams are pleasant, you will wake up feeling rested. If not, you will sleep. Sleep and dream again. You may have three dreams if you wish. The fuck is this game mechanic? One sizzling Sunday, a fierce rhinoceros traveled by jeep across the desert. Is that a good dream? One frosty Friday, two timid koalas went by submarine between tall rocks. Yep, that, good dreams. I guess. No, we are not swimming out to sea with eight sharks. Message is on the way. Collect some water. I mean, yeah, this is a cool game for its time. In a way. It's still, like, utterly random at times and, and kind of bullshit. How did you make this game depressing? Okay, I'll fix that. Chrono Cross music, um, light-hearted. Let's see if I get... The, uh, what's the music with, with the bass line in Chrono Cross? Chrono Cross soundtrack, it's, it, it's called, um... What what the hell is that music called? Optimistic? See, now we're happy again. <laughs> so even when we're torn apart by sharks, we'll be fine. We're dying! I hate this! It is revolting! Get some water. You are exhausted. We will rest. Darkest midnight, a flock of swans piloted a jet plane through the wood. That seems like a good dream. Let's have another one. Frosty Friday, evil, evil kangaroo slithered silently across the river. That seems like a bad dream. Okay, that was pleasant too. Evil kangaroos, pleasant dreams, I guess. Music sounds like Mario RPG ripoff. Says chat member. <laughs> it does sound like it could be a Mario RPG, but it's the same company. It's Square ripping off Square. Uh, we don't want to gather planks when there's this many sharks. Mitsuda composed music for the first Mario Party, which this does sound like. It does, yes. I don't know if I want to play this anymore. Uh... You are exhausted. Is that a good dream? Screaming parrot rode on horseback under the ocean? Speaking of parrots, chat. I just want to show you something real quick.
Here's um, a parrot singing Stairway to Heaven. Don't worry, it won't get claimed. It's, it's a cover. And the bird is not Robert Plant. They sound very similar, though. <laughs> I love it. I realized that the window auto-sized. Sorry about that. This bird is a better singer than I am. Your music saved my life. The parrot's like squawk. At darkest midnight, a screaming parrot ro roller skated wildly across the river. Wonderful dream. Today's your lucky day. A passing ship has found your message in a bottle and has come to rescue you. You survived alone for 24 days. See, wasn't that nice? It's great, chat. All we needed was some optimistic music. That's all we needed. That and Led Zeppelin Parrot. Chat, maybe you recognize this game. Here's another port. Um, may maybe you watched the stream I did... ...of Jackal? Oof. Oh no. This can't be official. This can't be official. I, I guess we don't need the Jackal music. The classic, awesome Jackal music. How do you shoot? Okay. I am 100% sure that this is un an unofficial piece of crap. I like how you can blow up the buildings, but the people that are the POWs don't actually exit the buildings. Oh, wait, no, there was one. Vinny, it's official. I can't believe that. Oh my god, this is, this is really, this is wretched. Is this one of those hands-free orgasm tones, says a chat member. Um... No. No, it's not quite... How, how powerful is your subwoofer? The Castlevania port is godly compared to this.
awful, awful controls. Oh my god, everything is so bad. Aren't they supposed to enter the jeep? No? Alright, well fuck you then. I can hear sounds within the tone. Chat, it's activating my theta waves. Spawn in the wall, that's nice. Spawn in the wall. This is the worst piece of shit I've ever played. Not because it's the worst game I've ever played. Because it's not. I've played worse. You know what it is? An insult. It's because it's so insulting to one of the games I loved on the NES. That I genuinely loved. It makes it that much worse. I'm really... I'm really disappointed that this was actually considered for release. Who composed this? <laughs> uh, probably the dude that the small man was yelling at. You flat! Okay, well that was terrible. Next is Joe Snow 4. Well, it doesn't sound completely like shit. That's a positive. I should point out that the parrot video is from the YouTube channel Tico and the Man. Or, oh, sorry, uh, Frank Maglio. Frank Maglio. I just wanted to point that out. Tico and the Man is the, the description. So if you want to watch that again, I just want to th throw proper credit there. It's good, I like that video. That actually genuinely brings a smile to my face because the parrot is so good! Clown egg. Yep, this is, uh, Joe Snow is clown. Oh no. This is another game that should not have been attempted. Vinny, this is the fourth in the series. Wow, it took them four games to still get it wrong. Like, I can't even really control this clown orb. I take back what I said about this having decent audio. Help. H for help. H for help. Help. Chad, if I told you I was legitimately trying, would you believe me? I... Chat, I am legitimately trying. 
What happens is when you hold right too long, the clown ball locks into a right slide. Okay, so you yeah, you have to tap and not hold the buttons down, right? But this first jump... Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Doc! Doc, these DOS games gave me tinnitus. Absolutely fucking wretched this game is. And then if you press the jump... If you press the jump button too late, you won't jump! God. I, I'm gonna do this, chat. I swear, I'm gonna do- I'm, I wanna at least get one. God damn it. I'm gonna do it! I just wanna get a little bit further. A little bit further. So I gotta tap three times. I did it! I did it! It- none of the rest matters. You just have to tap, and you have to be very specific. You have to count the blocks. And you have to be very careful with your timing of how you do the, like, the taps. Otherwise, you're just gonna fall into, like, a pit. I did it! I completed the game! Wow, it hurts my eyes, too. Very nice. Ears and eyes. All senses assaulted by Joe Snow 4. Coach Zabar from 1997 is next. Um... Is- is that in the top left a, a stolen asset? What's the name of that lad up there? It's bubble Bobble, right? Fuck happened here? Oh. Oh, okay. I like the little cactus dudes, though. Yippee! Oh my god, it's just- it's jizz ball. Yes. That sounded like, um, the pilot wings. Nestor. Yes. Not that. Yes! The Yahoo sounds like the pilot wings, dude. Oh no! I need to. I need to find out, chat. I need to find out. Pilot wings voices. I'm not gonna find it now. Uh, oh no! Let's see. Yes. Yes. The oh no sounds like SpongeBob. What year did SpongeBob begin? Like Batman begins, SpongeBob begins. Ninety-nine. Well, this is two years before that. So. 
גדול. You think Tom Kenny did the voices for this? Oh no was in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and Kid Picks. Okay, so it's just stock sound effects. Oh. Yes! Yes. Best game of the night, honestly. You get it. I bet Viking dude there was pretty cool, though. Micro Leagues Wrestling 2? Oh, this was my suggestion. Like, a couple of these I found, and I, and I, uh, I wanted to check them out. Here is a famously terrible game. 1989 World Wrestling Fe Federation Micro League Wrestling! Is that Hoagie on the left? Uh, Vincesity, do you know how to start this game? This is the piracy protection, isn't it? Oh, I press F5. The first word is fart. You know, it's a funny kind of thing. What is? I got it right, by the way. So I'm, I'm DiBiase. What's happening? I don't know how to play this. JRPG Wrestle? Maybe? But I can't e enter anything. Oh, maybe because... Um, it's a two-player game and I... I uh, let, let me see if I can set this to single-player, perhaps. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at Vincesity's comments here. Maybe maybe he figured this out, because I sure as fuck haven't. The computer icon. That would be cool if it if um Oh, you're right. Yeah, F four. F four computer icon. So I'll be ho I'll be hoagie. Hulkamania is running wild, brother. I've been hanging and banging. <laughs> but Ted Biasi seems to think he can buy Hulkamania. Hulkamania is coming down hard on DiBiase and Virgil. Wrestling superstar. <laughs> I'm gonna bounce you like a bad chick. Oh, yeah! Oh, wait, wrong guy. <laughs> I want your butt, Hogan. He always gets what he wants, which is Hogan's butt. Now I get to take your butt. That looks like old Jonathan Frakes. We made it up.
Select move wrist lock versus knee drop. Go. Start. <laughs> that sound effect. <laughs> what a sound effect that was. I can't believe it. It, it really is a turn-based FMV wrestling JRPG. Big boot. light slap sound. I'm trying to figure out how to- oh, I want to- I want to do a punch. Just a sh plain old straight up punch. No sound effects for that. They only have punch and audience sound effect. That would cost way too much money to, to develop more sound effects. Sorry, everybody. Don't attack DiBiase when he goes in his shell, says a chat member. <laughs> I used to, I have to use float. DiBiase <laughs> casts earthquake with big boot. If I use float on my party members, the earthquake spell can't hit them. This game is why is there like a mini Hulk? What is that? <laughs> What's going on there? I mean Hulk is taking no damage. At the very least, I'm winning somehow. Wall Street stomp, eh? Oh shit, what's this? I'm gonna try to win a match for some reason. I actually took damage. What's this? DiBiase has a second form. DiBiase is evolving. Oh no. It turns out DiBiase was a boss this whole time. I, I don't know how this could even be classified as a video game at this point. It's so, it's like... There's no way to know what moves are gonna, like, work. I, I don't believe there's actually any strategy. Mega Elixir time? Yeah, I think you're right.
use big boot. Alright chat, I think I've had enough of this. Uh, it just, the damage is barely going uh, down or up or whatever, I don't know. Find all the chocographs so you can fight the Undertaker. I tried my best. I, I don't think I'm enjoying this. Uh, the faces are very good, but there's not a whole lot else going on, so... I'm glad we got to see it for a couple minutes. Let's see what's next. Nihilist? Worth it for the Final Fantasy music gag alone. Yeah, I just couldn't... I couldn't keep it going, chat. I had nothing. You have to build up the match. Yeah, I'm not exactly a, uh, a hype man, as they say. Mouse controls, pitch and yaw. S key to thrust forward. Enter your sign. Pleb? What? Huh? Where did this game come from? Uh, uh okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's kind of, uh... Huh? Is dead. I, what is this? How is this DOS? I mean, it looks good for DOS. It looks good for its time. I'm probably missing a whole lot of controls. It is very intense. Um, again, no music, and I'm missing a bunch of controls, guaranteed. But it's, it seems to be very difficult to hit. This is Everspace point one. Danger, radioactive core jettisoned. The warp core has been jettisoned? the force field from encounter at far point <laughs> uh oh uh oh missiles locked on i don't know what this is chat i'm trying my best to play this now if i read the controls i'm sure things would go a lot better but all right cool is that red butt ned butt ned butt is the name of this enemy combatant Okay. Cybel Monkey Adventure 2. We'll, we'll do a couple more. We'll do a couple more. That one really wasn't much. I don't know why that was, like, that was, again, a way better looking game than it had any right to be. This is a 1995 game, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. I'm looking for the shoot button. 
I know it's here somewhere. Oh, there we go. It's, uh, okay. It's, yep, the right enter button. Got it. So, I'm a monkey in a plane destroying flying monkeys with blue wings. Got it. <laughs> but, wait, apples. Little monkey fella. Or those cherries. They could be apples, they could be cherries. Here's what I can say about this game. It exists. It exists. Uh, Shaw's Nightmare 2. Oh my god. Is that Simpson? Copyright Mickey Productions. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh, it's Doom. <laughs> Where the fuck did you find this game, Vincesity? Jesus. Once again, looking for shoot. I, I can't, um, I can't find the shoot button, I'm sorry to say, chat. Press control? Nope, not working. The document has all the controls. There's a document? Left notes for these controls. Dude, I do not see a document. I'm not kidding when I say. I'm looking right now. DOS game installer, read me. Um, I don't see a document. All right, hang on a second. Listen, even if I do learn how to shoot, it's probably not going to change a whole lot. Oh, I see. I see. The program itself has the controls. Left control to fire. Oh, no wonder I wasn't able to see it. Look, that's the animation. Sorry, I didn't see those controls. I didn't realize that this program had extra functionality. That's the attack animation. So wait, is this Doom? Is this just a mod of Doom? Oh my god. You fucked up a glass of water? Oh, picked up. like this this was made in 2016 what oh okay I'm dead well that's good next yeah Simpson Simpson versus dogs uh no thanks on that one let's let's keep going A little bit more, um, spit war. I'm not going to say the word, the spit word. Take me out to the spit game. Ooh, yeah. Spit. All right, fine. Bob Hamster, Plip, Bowserlisk. 
These are some good names. Sir Chef Bliblet. Let's try Bob the Hamster first. Yeah, um... Well, you- you- yep, you spit. It's exactly what it sounds like. This is the opposite of the toothpaste game. Instead of <laughs> toothpaste from a tube, you're just spitting on... Animals? I hate this. It is revolting. Okay. You, you just, yeah, um, the music, yeah, you just spit. Okay. Virtual Mario? The music was good because it sounded like someone was knocking on the door. Like, stop that game, stop playing that game, how dare you. Is this corrupted? Wait a minute. It's this music again? <laughs> Why this music so much? Vincesity, I don't know where you found this, but this this is the worst game I've ever played. When you jump, you can't move left or right. Like, you can't jump in the air and then move. What is that, an attack? Chat, I'm... I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Nintendo officially licensed this one. I'm, I'm sorry, chat, but we, we, we cannot do this. Read the instructions. <laughs> what do you want me to learn? Main menu, read instructions. Okay, it is... Jump... Right, left, pick up object... Mario speaks... You can have Mario speak. Oh, really nice. I can read that. Read storytelling. Mushroom Kingdom is in great mourn ever since the governor of the Mushroom Kingdom has received an urgent stress call from Princess Toadstool, his daughter. What? Family submarine? I, I'm not reading all this, but I- Lake Amherst? Um... The music is so discordant and anxiety-inducing. There's so much. I'm sure someone could screen cap that and you can read the story to your heart's content. What's this now? Huh. The, um, make Mario talk thing doesn't work. I tried. I pressed the buttons. Doesn't work.
Wow. Um, I think I'm going to have to end with that one. There's, um, yeah, we'll end with that one. Because you're not going to get worse than that. I'm sorry. We'll save more for next time. But holy shit, that was terrible. That was a, a hell of a collection. MS-DOS, I swear, had good games. One day I may even play those good games live on stream. But uh, this that's not, not the time for that right now. Thank you for watching this. Uh, wow. Thank you, Vincesity, for helping out. And I'm sure at some point we will revisit MS-DOS. But for now, we're going to take a quick break. And I will be back with this art thing. I don't think I used this. I didn't use this BRB, right? Well, we have art and then... Okay, we didn't. Okay, so I have art and then something called... PS2 budget titles. Stick around if you want. <laughs>